I know someone is shaking their head saying it's too early for Halloween, but the bottle that you need to meet this is in Dollar Tree stores right now. So you need to go out and you need to grab them. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to turn a water bottle into this awesome vulture candle holder. I say this two times in the video and I'm going to say it now. Use an LED candle for this. I couldn't find any, so I used a real candle just for the purpose of the video. Anyway, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty, y'all. It is hot. It's June 11th. Yes, June 11th, and I'm already sick of the heat, um, and I wanted to do a Halloween craft. So anyway, I have this Flamingo Tumbler Bottle Cup Doohickey that I got at Dollar Tree, and it has like some brown spots on it. I found this on the very bottom shelf. There's only two or three left, and um, they're dirty. I don't know what's on them, but anyway, I'm going to be cleaning it here in a minute. I'm going to wipe this down really, really well with some rubbing alcohol and clean it why am I going to do that? Because it's going to help our paint to stick better. Now, I wanted a matte black spray paint, and this is all I had, and my store was out of matte black, so I'm just going to use this. This is chalkboard paint. This does cost more than regular spray paint, so if you don't want to use this kind, that's absolutely fine. Just use regular black spray paint. But anyway, I'm going to wipe this down all over with some rubbing alcohol, and then I'm going to take it outside and give it a couple coats of this, and I just hit my chime and <laughs> I will come back and see what we can make with it. All right, friends. So this is what I have so far. Now you can see here like kind of where the feathers start. And then here's like the long neck. I want to paint that red, but I didn't want it to be a really bright red. So I'm using this Tuscan red from Apple Barrel. It's sort of, hold on, oh, watch it fall over. It's sort of like a muted red. Um, if you can't find that color, take a regular red and you can mix a little bit of black paint in with it but anyway i am just going to paint the neck and then on up to the head might need to use two coats for this i'm going to try to get it as smooth as possible but i don't want to paint its beak here i'm just going to paint the neck and the head up to this line and i'm going to try to leave the eyes black i don't want to paint those either and this is going to take me a minute because i'm just going to try to go slow and careful like so and once i get that painted and once that paint is dry we will come back and continue to decorate this is um a fuzzy duster doohickey thingy from dollar tree all i wanted was something white and fuzzy to go around its neck um now they do have like these little chamois cloth things that you can use on your car um that would work very well let's see if we can open this up and see if we can cut a piece so I'm just going to take my scissors here. Are these the good ones? No, I think these are the old ones. I'm going to take my scissors here and let's cut this open. All right, so I cut that open. And you see it's got like this paper backing. I just want to cut a strip of that because we're going to glue this around the neck. Now, we're probably going to have to trim off some of this. Ah, some of the fuzziness. Because see, this fuzziness is very long here. But anyway, let's trim off this end here and we'll be cutting this end off too but all you need is just a little bit of this just the tiniest little bit to wrap around the neck here so let's see if I cut this narrow enough let me just hold it on there and see I think so so I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue right along here and let's just hold this strip down right here. And like I said, we're going to trim this down here in a second. Okay, so don't worry. Oh my gosh, there's too many fuzzies. Don't worry about that. Like I said, we will trim it down here in a minute. So I'm just going to hold this in place. And then we're going to put some more glue. And we're going to glue it all the way around. Okay, so let's pull some of this off. And then I just want to trim this down a little bit. Just a little bit. Get it where you want it okay get off of me why are you sticking to me you clingy about as clingy as my ex-husband all right let's get all of this into place and i think that looks pretty good okay so this is just a glass like a candle plate and i got this at dollar tree no i'm not gonna take that sticker off of it because we're gonna cover it up and you ain't gonna see it no darn way sticker police label police go sit down but what we're going to do is we are going to glue this to here. Now, if you have cats, dogs, and feral children running around, then you're going to want to back this up with some E6000, okay? 
So just get you some E6000 and put on there among your hot glue. But I am just doing this to try to give it a little bit more stability. We all need more stability, don't we? Okay. Now we have some of this Spanish moss. You can get this Dollar Tree, pretty much any craft supply store. And um, I'm getting ready to make a mess. So I did not paint this glass plate. Why? Because we're going to be gluing things to it. And y'all know, you've heard me say a million times, if I can avoid gluing things on top of paint, especially glass, I try to avoid that because the paint has a tendency to chip on glass. And you don't want all this stuff to chip off. So I'm just going to put a bunch of hot glue here, and then we're going to take this, and we are going to stick it down like so. And I'm going to glue this down around the entire little piece here. All right, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to get some white paint, and I'm going to put some little dots in the eyes, just to kind of give it a bit of highlight. I've got that moss all over me, gum. All right, so now let's put something else on there. I have a few of these rocks. Um, actually, I've got a whole bunch of them. Why? Because I spilled a whole bag on the table the other day, so they're all over the darn place. But now I'm just going to take a few of these rocks and glue down here as well, just to, you know, give it a little extra something, something. So let's stick that down. Now let's see, I don't want to use the real dark ones because then that's not really going to show up all that well. But anyway, I'm just going to glue a few rocks around the bottom here. All right, so let's take a look at what we have so far. We have this. As you can see, I did put a white dot on his eye. Now, I should have done this a while ago, but the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking, hmm, I would like to do this. I'm going to take this paintbrush, a dry paintbrush, and I'm just going to dry brush a little bit, just the tiniest little bit, on some of the feathers here just to give it a little bit of dimension. Like I said, I really should have done this a while ago, but I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking about doing it. So you can see I've got the majority of the paint off my brush, and I'm just, just every now and again, just gonna put just a little, a little something, something. Okay, so this is pretty much done. And what you're gonna do is just set your candle on top of here. But like I said a while ago, and I'm saying it again, please, I highly suggest using an LED candle. Um, Dollar Tree and craft stores carry them. This is a real candle because I'm not going to be held liable if you burn your house down. But this is a red taper candle. And what we're going to do is let us try to make a spooky candle. I've done this in videos before. I was getting ready to blow it out. I'm so used to burning incense. I was getting ready to burn it out. So you want to hold it kind of at an angle here for it to drip and we're going to just drip it around the edge of your candle here and we're just going to let that wax kind of run down the side and make a spooky candle so let me see if i can i've got paint all over me it's all right people around here know me it's like when i go in the store like if you see me out in public majority of the time i'm wearing dirty clothes and my hands have paint all over them and my hair is a mess it's all right okay but anyway, you see how this drip is here? You're going to do that all the way around and then just set it on top of your um, little thingy that we've made here and you're done. So anyway, I'm going to work on this and I will get a really good picture of this so that y'all can see it better. You've already seen it at the beginning, but I'll do it again anyway. So I hope that you liked this. Are you excited for Halloween as I am? Because you know what? I just had to get this craft out of my system. But I hope you liked it. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time.